What is up, y'all? My name is Axel. Y'all might notice that I have on the same clothes as the other video that I'm gonna be posting. Probably be up before this one. I don't know, this one might be up before that one. But I'm be doing the face scrubby thing. So, um, I just wanted to hop on here and do this quick video because I already was gonna be doing what I'm about to do anyways. So I might as well show you all at the same time. So, what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be making my boyfriend, who is asleep over there. Sorry if y'all hear him snoring or if the dog's making noises. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're gonna be making him a necklace. Um, he always wears his great grandfather's key around his neck. Uh, it's something that he's done since before we met eight and a half years almost nine years ago now so the other one broke and uh, I decided it, that I would just make him one so usually I would go get the big ball of hemp because it's cheaper more for your money at least the unit price wise is cheaper but um his favorite color is green and I saw that they had green hemp cord it doesn't quite look green in this viewfinder, but green hemp cord. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I just snatched it up because, like I said, green's his favorite color. So, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is to make, uh, or how I make, hemp necklaces. And add a charm on. In this case, the charm is going to be the key. But, uh, first things first, you want to measure your cord to how long you want it and give you a little extra room he doesn't like his short like I love chokers but he doesn't like his short he likes his like about that long so I'm gonna give it a little extra room a little extra give and then you want to double it okay so bend it in half and double it So, we got it doubled over. Now, what you want to do is you want to cut that. And then measure out a single strand that same length. Okay? So, single strand that same length. Then I take the looped side and the Athena, no man, sorry y'all, and <laughs> like I said, I, you take the loop side and then the single, the single strand and you put them together, just stick them together, and then I make sure to try to keep it a big enough loop, not too big, not too small. That's just something you gotta like eyeball. But tie it all together. So I just take that all, twist it, and then run it all back through to make the loop. And the loop is how you get it started, or how I get it started. And I'll show you why. But the loop. I fucked that all up. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, so. All right, so, stay. You got the loop. You've got the loop in the other end. You wanna try to keep them as close to the same length as possible. Take it. Loop it around. This is so much easier to do off camera. I don't know. Like, this is something I do all the time. I never have a problem with it, but as soon as I go on camera to show people. Anyways, so. And then you tie it off. So 
so now you've got your little side that has I am way out of the camera that has the loop and then the one strip my camera is not focusing on freaking strand but anyways you see it so it's a loop <coughs> and what I'm gonna do next I need to reposition my camera for so I will be right back okay okay all right now we're back at a very awkward angle but we're back um so what I usually do is I take the little loop end and I have one of these little cheap ass hooks and I put the loop around the hook now the hook is gonna work gonna use gonna work as an anchor for you to work with okay let's 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 let's, let's get you a little closer all right so please excuse the floor we need to repaint it but uh since my leggings are such a distracting color you probably won't be able to see this well i'm just gonna put a towel in my lap so hopefully it'll help you see a little bit better all right so you're gonna start off by having it on your little hook here <clears throat> you're gonna have your base it's gonna be three strands as you can see you're gonna have one of them at the middle one's gonna be your base your anchor or whatever you want to call it and then the other two on each side is what you're going to be working with. So, if you can see, I keep trying to get you closer and it's not really working. <coughs> Excuse me. If you can see, you got your three different strands. So, you start by taking, this is the middle one, take the right side. And go over it and you want to make this D shape take your other one go over the top of this right here this little strand but underneath and through the D so let me try and show you that again you got your base strain strand whatever you make your D by crossing it over the top of it so you can see that over the top of it this one the opposite one goes over the top of that but underneath all of it and back through that D that you just made all right so then it's gonna look like a jumbled mess like that but Holding the, your anchor, you call it an anchor for a reason because you're trying to keep that part stable. Put it back on your, your hook. You pull both sides evenly, all right? All right, so that's the first loop. Now you just want to do the exact same thing, but opposite. So you're going to go with your other side. Make your D over the top of it. Take this strand go over the top of it this little tail from the D and stick it under and through the loop okay pull it through so now you're gonna take the two strand the your anchor still in your hand you're gonna take the both strands that you just looped and pull them tight all right so we're gonna keep doing this back and forth I'll probably show you one more time and then we'll speed through it but all you're doing is basically making knots but you're alternating it so it makes a pattern all right so we just did this side we're gonna go back to this side and do this one again so make your D over that side over the tail under and through 
the hoop, pull it through, hold your anchor tight, and tighten the loops. Back to this side. Make your D, over the tail, under and through that loop, hold your anchor, pull it tight. I'll show you one more time. This side. Make the D, go over the tail, go under and through the loop, and pull it tight. Alright? So you're just going to keep doing that until you get to your halfway point if you're wanting to put a charm in the middle. Now if you're not wanting to put a charm... Oh, 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 we messed that up. <laughs> if you're not wanting to put a charm like just in the middle, if you're wanting to do multiple charms, or even if you're not wanting... Sorry y'all, I'm trying to readjust the thing though. Uh, or if you're wanting to do no charms at all, then just don't put any charms on. Keep going with your alternating pattern. But whenever you want to put a charm on, you, you do it the same way, whether it's the middle charm or not. Now, there, obviously, there's a difference between beads and a charm because they have to be put on slightly differently. But I'll show you the way that I'm going to do it for his. Um, if y'all want to see me make other necklaces like with beads all in it let me know and I'll make a video for it but uh I'm gonna keep going until I get to the halfway mark and I will be back to show you how I'm gonna put this key on so yeah I'll be back okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it has been a very long time since I have made a hemp necklace or bracelet or anything of the such but um I've gotten this far this is what it usually looks like the little hoops and loops why won't you focus bruh okay well anyways that's what it looks like but um, what I forgot or what I failed to realize is, um, you remember when I told you to cut the doubled up one and the single strand the same length? Well, <laughs> no. You gotta do the doubled one longer. Because as you can tell, I started and the two strands and there there while the single strand ends way down here now because I forgot that it takes up a lot of it doing this so actually you need to probably triple at least triple the length of the looped over here not over there of the looped side or the looped strand needs to be like three times to four times longer than your anchor so I'm gonna fix my problem and I'll be back to show you how to do the actual you know charm part in a minute so yeah let me go fix that so I measured this to my own neck and I've gotten to a good stopping point or a halfway point in my opinion. So what you do is you separate them back out like you were doing before. You have the three strands. And usually what I would do is I would add a ring to whatever I'm using as far as uh, charms go because they're not beads. They don't, um, they have a hole in them but it, you'll see it doesn't really sit properly so usually I would add a ring to it but we're gonna try something new today because this poor key if you can see has starting started to uh, 
what's the word? Wear down from metal rings. So this key is very old, I believe, because it was his great grandfather's key, like I said. So I want to do everything that I can to make the key last long. But what you do is you take it, you take your anchor piece, that piece that was in the middle, if you remember. So out of the three, you can't see me. Out of the three strands, the one, two, three, is the middle one. You're gonna take it, you're gonna make a little loop. So fold it in half, make a loop. And then you're going to thread key through it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is this is part of that same loop, that same piece of string. So here's the loop, here's that same string. See if I pull on it, it gets smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the string and loop it on through. Pull it nice and tight. That way there's not a whole lot of room between your, over here, between your braiding and your item. So that's how I decided to try and do it this time. After you get it on, you keep braiding like you would have before. So, now that it's on, we're gonna scoot you this way. And I'm gonna show you how to keep braiding. Middle, two side strings. So, I don't wanna get it all the way up against it, cause then it'll be too stiff, it won't be able to move. But you're gonna keep going like you were before. So, um, I actually want to do it under. So it's still there. That's still the third one. And we're gonna keep going. If you can see this little loop over here, you know that we need to do this side. Cause that means you already did this one, it's opposite. So that little loop right there it is so hard to get my camera to focus. But the loop on the side lets you know which side to keep going on with. So, we're gonna keep going. Make your D. Your D. <laughs> but, uh, and then keep breaking it. Pull it tight down to where the key is. So now you're doing distracting, that's what you're doing. Alright, now you're going to do this side. So make the little loop over the top of the string. Would it be better to turn the light out? I don't know. I don't know if that made it better or not. Um, so loop it over, under, through. Same pattern that you were doing before. Just keep going. So now this side. Over. Over the tail. Under through the loop. And pull tight. So yeah. That's how... Let me take it off this hook so I can reach it. That's what it looks like. I don't know why this freaking camera will not, like, I don't know. It's it's not it's not showing you. It 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 it. I don't know. It's blurry. But yeah, you just keep going. So I'm gonna keep braiding, and then I will be back to show you how I finish off the necklace. I'll be back. Guess what? It's time to finish this baby off. So, um, to finish it off, you either keep writing it until you get to the end of one of your 
little strands. You keep braiding until you can't braid anymore. Or you braid until you get to the desired length that you would like. Once you get there, you take all of it and you pull it tight. Okay. Key hit my Okay, so pull it tight. That's what you end up with. Now, usually, what I would do is sorry if you hear that. My dog, or one of my dogs, is on the bed and she's scratching, so it's making the bed move. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but, anyways. What I usually do to finish off my necklaces is I will use a bead. So then that way you don't have to tie it on. You just feed it through your loop. Feed it through your loop. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, usually I would use a bead, but I don't have any beads at this moment. Because I was not prepared, I did not expect to do this. But we're gonna try to use a button because I've got a little sewing kit. One of them little travel sewing kits. So we're going to try to use a button. Obviously, you want to make sure that the button is going to fit within your loop, but you want to make sure that it's not. A loose fit in other words you want it to be a little hard to push through the loop so pick the right size you just pick the right size by trying to make it fit mm -hmm. but um This one will work, but it's gonna be a tight ass fucking fit. There you go. I dropped it. There it is. Okay, so. I've never used a button before, so bear with me. But we're gonna use this little bitty button. Right now, since the other strand of the third has ran out got all this extra. We're gonna thread the two through the two holes in the button. So just thread one side through one and one side through the other. It's being a pain in my ass. There we go. Now you've got both of them threaded through. Go we'll pull it down. Excuse me, I said pull it down. And then I'm going to tie it off. So I'm probably going to leave a little bit of space, tie the top, and come around and tie the bottom. So then it's like looped in. Alright? So I'll be right back. Alright, so what I have come to figure out is the way we're going to do it, we've got it tied once right now. Can I actually get it to work this time? No. Because it never wants to work for me. This is pissing me off. But anyways, so I've got it tied once. I'm going to tie it. I don't know where that came from, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't even get my words out. <coughs> but I'm going to tie it tightly two or three times, and then I guess just cut the ends. But I'm gonna do it several times to make sure that once I do cut the ends, it's not gonna unravel. Because if it does unravel once you cut the ends, then you're kinda screwed. Because you don't have enough to tie it 
back. So, I've tied it like three times so far. I think that'll be good. Just give it a good pull. Like that. Snip them bitches off. Sorry y'all, I make weird faces when I focus. So yeah, slide it over the button and it ain't going nowhere. So yeah. That is how I make my necklaces. I hope y'all enjoyed this I don't know how long it's going to be because I haven't edited it. Edited. I can't even say it. Edited it. That even sounded weird. But you know what I'm trying to say. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know how long the video is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah. So that was me making my boyfriend a necklace. Um, if y'all enjoyed it, please like it. If y'all like me, please subscribe. Uh, like I said before, I'm trying to make videos. Originally, I said I wanted to post once a week. But I might post more than that, quite honestly. This is my second video I've recorded tonight. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if I can keep it up. So just subscribe if you would like to see more. I've got lots of goodies coming up soon. Hopefully a haul video. I've got a makeup video got a lot of things planned out for me to record I just have not recorded them yet so like I said my name is Axel how do I go blank like that anyways my name is Axel if you liked it please give it a like if you like me please subscribe come back for more see me again you know you can get used to this face right 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 I mean it ain't the cutest but it works. So, yeah. I had fun. Well, sorta. I like making stuff, but sometimes I get caught up with things that I don't have, like the button and such. So, yeah. But I had fun, and I hope to see y'all again in my next video. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm going to end it that way because I don't know what else to say. I'm so tired. I'll see y'all later. Bye.